Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 438. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. Um, welcome to a very spooky episode Ooh, regarding on Halloween's day. Doesn't really matter because when this episode comes out, it'll be beyond that. But anywho, um, let's hop right into it. So, the term brony and derpy hooves are now 10 years old now. So, uh, I'm just going to read what Sophisto wrote, and it says, uh, 10 years ago on 4chan's comic and cartoon board, buried within the... Hourly, hourly, hourly pony tread? Okay. Uh, a new word was formed. Or at least became mainstream. Brony was born, and with it, the continued growth of one of the most ridiculous fandoms on the internet. Over the years, it has been both be. That's right. It has been both a beacon of celebration and a giant cringe bullseye, but it has certainly stuck around and made us more noticeable. Along with that, Derpy was first discovered and screen cap on the same board, becoming somewhat of a fandom mascot. She too had her ups and downs over the years with Hasbro's uh, keen jerk react, knee jerk, sorry, Hasbro's knee jerk reaction to an angry email about her appearing in the show and eventually returned as a permanent character later on once the once they realize or once they revisit their uh, revise their stance on her a for the derp so yeah 10 years ago the word brony came about and so the derpy so sophisto got a screenshot here of how uh, yeah, it all started and it's, it's, it's just silly. Uh, it's perfect. Thanks a lot, Pony Bro. Uh, Pony Bro, more like Brony. Uh, um, I'm, 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 I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Mind blown. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to start using this term, but it's so tempting. Well, it's stuck. It's stuck around, <laughs> ten years now, and that word, and that word is in the lexicon. So yeah, um, but in as time goes on, uh, we we develop other words because, uh, people who are very gender sensitive, uh, think that brony is kind of a what you call this, sexist terms to call for female fans of the show. So they would like to call themselves Pegasisters. Okay, if you want to, that's your choice. But still, I, I do like the term Brony and man, I, I don't remember where I heard this at all. It's one of those scenarios where I know it exists, but I don't remember where. But hey, uh, it's one of those things where uh, at least Four chans, not that. Four chan has it up and down. Let's just say that, and uh, they didn't really use anything. Oh, sorry, uh, they didn't really say anything about Derpy in this one, but Derpy's first appearance was in episode one. Uh, her first appearance, if I'm not mistaken. Let me change into this version so I don't get uh, what you want to call this. Uh, copyright thingy. Um, we do we do not want that. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> but I'll just uh, retell detail. Um, so Derpy first appearance was in the party at Twilight's uh, new place that was in the Golden Oaks Library. And by the way, there's no mention of where the name came from for that library specifically. So. This fandom is nuts with naming stuff. But anyway, um, she was in the background, just um, hanging around, just being a background character, nothing too special. 
and there was an animation error where her eyes were a bit of centered uh wall-eyed as you might say and i am trying okay here is this it? this one let's see uh oh no how one do this this uh is, is it this one or that one I'll give me a second uh uh, okay, there's a lot of her in the background, but let's see. Uh, so it's this one. No, no, no. Okay, sorry, folks. This this is one of those scenarios where I really need to find it. Huh? Is it this one? Seems like it. No, 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 no. I I I will be with you guys soonish. Give me a second. Ah, uh, animation errors. I think they could be... Oh, okay, is it this one? Okay, that one. So I found it, guys. So it's on this uh, screenshot here. It's in this scene where you can see the piece eye going wall eye. And she has her... Um, mouth in that way because I, I've been looking through and she looks normal up until this one uh, I wonder if there's a shot here or there that proves my point uh, oh wow oh wow uh, yeah okay see this is the what you call this scene where she's looking normal but later on we see her wall eye and whatnot so this is the first appearance of her in this shot here. And then um, her lore with muffins, that one came about in a uh, in one of the episodes where Pinkie Pie big big bads instead of big goods. And uh, she accidentally gave food poisoning to all the ponies. Yeah, the ponies is strange. So um, she she likes muffins there, and people latch on to it. Technically, she's not the only one, but still. And the male mare thing. Uh, this was one episode where Twilight was trying to figure out how Pinky Sense work, and accident and got bombarded by objects from the sky and when we take a look see uh, it was derpy accidentally mishandling some packages so yeah um the history of derpy hooves and bronies 10 years ago wow that, that, it was such a long time ago but um beyond that after after the word became really popular we, we see a lot of swags uh, people using the term uh, even have them in merchandising and so on and I, I would say that the term is kind of cool it was it, it's it was really ingenious um beyond that i can't say much and derpy hoofs has staked her claim in the fandom as the fandom's mascot and so on um I I I I say this. For Hasbro, My Little Pony's mascot will be Rainbow Dash because of how she looks, the design. It's very appealing. So Rainbow Dash will be will always be the uh, company's mascot in terms of selling swag. You also have Twilight uh, marking her spot in terms of selling stuff and whatnot but in terms of selling stuff to the brony fandom um it'll be rainbow dash but the fandom's mascot will be derpy because we were the one that lifted her into her current position and it's kind of amazing looking at where she is now i do like how um, as the article mentioned uh, angry parents thinking that 
Oh, this is bad. This is mean. We must stop this. And ah, there's nothing wrong with it. You are just too sensitive. And the thing is, if you really want to look at it in a way, Derpy represents some part of the, or the what you call this. She she represents a segment of society. Um, she represents people with all eyes. Something that I, I don't know. I mean, people can label anything they want, but she's just nice. She just is there. And by looking at her, she really tries her best. In episode 100, we see that she is doing her best to do stuff. And I, I think what made her be how she is now is just that the fan latch on to her um, make backstory, make lore about her, and also, uh, what you call this, made fan fictions to uh, get her to a point where everybody agrees with stuff and whatnot. I mean, Derby Hoofs is just awesome. And beyond that, I can't say much. So, I'm not gonna say, and let's continue on to the next news. So, after a bit of history lesson with this one, Let's head into, well, um, announcing a BNC PonyCon online convention. Yay! So, this one is going to be pretty cool. The only reason why I'm covering this one and not others is because, well, uh, I, I know Daniel, he was part of the MBS show and now is doing a CPonyCon. And, well, you know, a bit of support. So, <laughs> so yes. So, let's see here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, is there anything that he wrote down? Okay, say so, right. Um, Pony uh, Project C Pony Con is back with another online event. Uh, BNC Pony Con this coming twenty eight and twenty nine November twenty twenty. Uh, this time we look towards India, a nation struck by the world's biggest lockdown with 1.35 sorry 1.35 billion people in the country there's bound to be a brony community there uh bnc ponycon is something like our your usual online pony convention with live stream activities and vendors ready to have a fun and exciting event right in our discord server with you can sorry, which you can join at website location there so i'm not going to go through the whole spiel but yeah you can expect to see uh panels and stuff um the opening act should be in english and stuff <clears throat> and then uh, yeah they, they, go, go check it out go check it out but <clears throat> sorry um go check it out and know that you'll have a great time there just chatting up and meeting new people and knowing that there's a Indian brony community in uh, India that would sound off but anywho yeah um, I've been talking to well I've talked to Daniel or he talked to me about this one for a while now and yeah it's one of those scenarios where getting things done was not easy uh, in India, if I'm not mistaken, there is so many dialects or there's so many language for the Indian community. Uh, it's just like, um, how do I put this? If it's in China, you speak multiple language. It's in Chinese, but you speak something like Mandarin, Cantonese, Hokkien, and so on. So, in India, they have the same problems, and sometimes some people don't understand each other, and so on. I mean, it's one of those scenarios where it's difficult to get in, and difficult to kind of gather a community. 
and I'm sure that their community is awesome and well Daniel here knows it and figures that hey India's huge I'm sure there's fans of My Little Pony because if you take a look see at the demograph there's not much there's not much um, representation from certain countries we do know that there's a Japanese um, pony fandom there's Malaysia obviously me Singapore Thailand Vietnam I think so I'm not 100% sure and so on but other than that uh, we, we don't hear much from India so uh, with this one here I'm sure that we're gonna hear a lot more from them so yeah go check it out go go join their server and well join the event join the party I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of fun who knows you might meet me over there I'll be around probably but with that uh, let's move on to the well next topic and next topic would be what have I been doing with my week so um, what have I been doing with my week was pretty much nothing too serious I uh, did a few work here and there and also celebrated my birthday yes if you're wondering it was a it was on the 29th of October 8th so um, didn't really do much just hung around with family and friends uh, played a bit of <laughs> play a bit of magic the good ring and yeah it was kind of a somber relaxing moment the thing about it is with the pandemic going about and going around you can't really do much so I, I was just happy to hang around with family and friends that you know cared for me and vice versa so other than that, it was nice. It was a nice time. It was a nice time. Uh, so let's see. Um, there's nothing other than that. Um, play a bit of Overwatch. So yeah, it, things have changed yet not really. Uh, the game is still the same. And the environment i mean if you played overwatch you understand what i mean it's just like it's been so long since i didn't touch it it's just playing it again was fun uh but other than that uh that's about it that, that was my week in terms of what have i been doing so let's not dilly dally and let's wrap the show up so anyway if you have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, and also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Yes, uh, if you're wondering what Ponyville Live is, it is an online brony radio station is a conglomerate of it's not really a conglomerate it's a group of uh, shows that gather to one place to be represented uh, you get live streams and so on and blah 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 uh, I, I got my hooves in there with some support from friends and whatnot and it's been a blast I I started here being, you know, just doing this for fun and I'm still doing it. But just knowing that you're getting a few supports from here and there is just really awesome. And what else? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I mentioned this to you guys, but uh, I started a Magic the Gathering uh, YouTube channel and I can see the difference. I can see the huge difference in terms of what I've been doing and what I'm trying to do. And the support is different. Probably with Magic, I should have tried and reached to a bigger audience or something like that. And you know what? I should probably try and see how it works. But I don't know. Ponies? You have a lot of places to 
kind of help you there. EQD is one of those places and uh, some other places. I, I don't remember. I, I came in very early on into the program. Uh, Pony for Life is one of them. So thank you guys. And yeah. Oh man. Maybe I should save some of the story for the X years celebration or something like that. Anniversary. Who knows? Anyway. Um, yes. Continuing on. And if you like support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. You got no idea how much you guys helped me in this one. Um, no matter from the $1 a month to the whatever dollar a month you are supporting me. Uh, I really appreciate it a lot and you guys are just awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another episode of the Show. See ya.